<laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Video Juice. My name is Craig. I'm Stephen. So we are here with. Uh, we've been talking about the movie discussions for a while. Uh, we did not get our Infinity War done. I actually recorded one, uh, a solo one. Stephen just started a new job, so it was hard to coordinate uh, to get him done. And I did a solo one, and it just didn't flow very well. I tried editing it into a video, and it didn't turn out well, so I scrapped it. So our first official one is going to be the Deadpool one, which we saw last night. And it was... It <laughs> It was a good movie. It was a very good movie. It was good. It was good. So off the top, off the top, we both really enjoyed it. It's a good movie. I still prefer the first one, but you should <laughs> still definitely go see the second one. It's just as entertaining and amazing. I would say even if you didn't like the first one, to watch the second one because it's very different. Oh, even the humor it is, in it, it is, is very is a different. Different storyline, like different aspects, like the way they're looking at things in it. Yeah, I liked it. I am. Um, it, it it was different than I expected. It was very different than I expected. Yeah. Like I expected, oh, before we get started, uh, this is going to be a full spoiler filled discussion. So if you haven't seen the movie, turn away now. You have been warned. I expected Cable, I, I enjoyed the way it went, but I expected Cable to be um, more prominent in it. Yeah, Cable's role in it, like he was a big part in it, but he didn't get as much screen time as I thought he would. Yeah. Him and Deadpool had great chemistry for the scenes that they had. But I wish they had a lot more scenes together. And Josh Brolin killed it. Oh, he is killing it this Josh, year. Josh Brolin is like Marvel's best decision so far. <laughs> it's just unreal. It was perfect. For I loved him. He um, I just I I I wanted to know more about him because like if I went in yeah. there not knowing anything about him, there, there wasn't a lot of info. Like we saw at the start, we saw kind of what happened to his family, but we didn't see anything of that world or where he came no. from or what he did. It just kind of jumped yeah, into it without giving us any Yeah, and he is like an X-Men of the future, but that wasn't... Oh, it's Cyclops and Jean's son, is it? Yes, yeah. Scott Summers. Yeah, maybe they're dead. maybe they're keeping that for a next movie. Yeah. Because he had the time travel thing, thing at the end, so if they're going to do that next movie, then Cable might have yeah. to... I don't mean he's there anyway, but we might get some extra deep info on him he, then. He did stay, say he was sticking around, so we're probably definitely going to see him in her Deadpool movie. That was the only thing I disliked about it, honestly. I, I loved the movie. Um, I, I preferred it more than the first one, but um, I, only by a tiny, tiny little bit. But the only thing I disliked was the, the underutilization of, of Cable. Yeah. I loved everything else. There was I thought it was funnier than the first one. I thought it had a lot more yeah, jokes it was that landed. More on point with the jokes. Yeah. The the amount of metaphor wall breaks with all the other comic book uh, properties yeah. was through the roof. Yeah. Like you had... Constant Thanos stuff, constant DC stuff. Yeah. You had like uh, Avengers stuff, then you had um, getting on about making fun of Josh Brolin's height, like mimicking the fans, saying, yeah. like, Oh, Josh Brolin's not tall enough to play cable, he's not big enough to play cable. And they just played into it and just yeah. completely went with those jokes, which I absolutely loved. The ever present Wolverine jokes. <laughs> they were they were the best yeah, in this one. They that were end, amazing. The end credit scene. It was just made the whole movie work. Clearing up the timeline. <laughs> <laughs> the shit Deadpool. Going back, killing the shit Deadpool. <laughs> killing Ryan Reynolds for helping... helping Roy No, no. Killing Ryan Reynolds for starring in Green Lantern. Okay. Bringing back Vanessa. Like, I wonder if... Are, are those... Are the stuff he changed in that end credit scene... Is that going to be the fo future going forward for the next movie? Like, could that be the basis for them? Is that a way... Like, with the whole Logan scene, him killing the shit Deadpool... Will that somehow alter the timelines and get a Hugh Jackman in a Deadpool movie? That would be funny. Like it, I, it's a good way to line it up <laughs> by doing it. Yeah. Like I'm wondering, is is it going to be? Is was it there just for the joke, or could it be, a, like a, a little sneaky setup for the next movie? And maybe the yeah. next movie is Cable having to go back and fix all the shit that he did. Yeah. Because it, it, it's the X Force now. Like they've um they've already talked about they're not going to do a Deadpool three just because. They'd, it'd be too samesy. They'd be taking everything away yeah. from him again. Like, he has this team set up, so why why strip him with the team and everything again? So I, I prefer that going forward. I think it'd be yeah. better him bouncing off other people constantly. The first original X-Force in the movie. That scene. Yeah, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Bill's a pretty kick-ass team. Oh, my God. The, the Terry Crew... Like, watching the trailer, I was like, oh, oh X-Force, OG X-Force. Yeah. It's like, who are these people? They didn't show any... Like, the trailers didn't show anything. No. Most of the stuff in the trailers, most of the footage was done by like a quarter or a third of the yeah. way through the movie, which I was impressed about. The actors that were also playing the original X Force team, like they were like decent, like cast. 
Oh. Terry Crews. I don't know your man's name, but the dude that was vomiting. Yeah. He was the guy that played Pennywise in It. They had a good cast, like um, the the teacher, not the teacher, but the, the head guy of the um, mutant place that they yeah. were testing on. He was a big time actor. I, like, he was in At World's End, yeah. uh, the Simon Pegg movie. And he's been in a few other things. Like the minute I saw him, I was like, he's going to be a big part of this I movie. thought he, I was expecting him to be a more big bad guy kind mm. of thing. Like he was experimenting on the kids. So I thought he was trying to give himself powers or something like that. Yeah. But... That was good. Yeah, it was good. It was still good. Yeah. The biggest um, surprise for me in the movie was Juggernaut. Juggernaut I did surprised not ex- the shit out of me. <laughs> I didn't expect him at all. That was cool. And a big CG fight at the end. Oh, yeah. That was good. Hey, Colossus, Colossus gave him a run for his money. Colossus. Colossus, was, Colossus got a lot more screen time yeah. than exactly. anybody else, I think. Yeah. He, he was like... It was very much a Deadpool movie. Like, even Neg- Negasonic and Colossus yeah. got pushed to the sidelines. But Colossus had a decent amount of screen time. Yeah. Especially with the storyline they were going. Like, him kind of not always being too much of a goody tear shoes. He wanted to, like, skirt the line a little bit yeah. with, the, with the ending. I fight dirty. I fight dirty. <laughs> yeah. It was fun. That juggernaut battle scene was just the best. Yeah. It was such a cool <laughs> superhero fight. And I love that they didn't give a shit. Like, my people are complaining about, oh, the CG fights and all this. Like, the end of a... Justice League and everything. They're fighting a big CG monster and then Deadpool they're like, yeah, big CG fight coming up. <laughs> they just completely went. But then it was fine. Like, it was fucking... It was good. It was good. Anything else that happened in a big... The X-Men uh, cameo in the mansion oh, was yes. probably the funniest cameo yes. I've ever seen. It was. <laughs> it was so good. Because I was thinking like, I was thinking, would they do something different and would they have an actual X-Man in there? In, in terms, not actual yeah. X-Man, but in terms of like the franchise they already have set up. And I was thinking, like, how would they do it without making it feel forced? But having that be there is yeah, perfect. Like, they see them like, all of them close the door. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. Was uh, McAvoy was there as well, right? That's. Why I want to go watch it again. I'll and have to watch it again. Like, it was only exactly a glance at the room. I got yeah. beast. It was good. That was funny. I just love the amount of meta jokes. Like there were so many. And what was the the Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt was on one of the original X Force. He was the Vanisher man. Or Vanisher. Vanisher. <laughs> I legitimately thought Vanisher was going to be nothing. Yeah, it was just a dude. But then when when you seen the just bag <laughs> jumping out of the plane. Oh, that was so Wasn't good. expecting it to be Brad Pitt, though. No, there were so many good... Like, there was so much... The reason why I think the jokes landed a lot more is because I think the setups were a lot better for him this time. Like, I think yeah. they were more taught out. Like, the first one had to have a kind of formulaic story just because it was the origin story and you needed to get non-Deadpool fans over into it yeah. and leaning into the whole Valentine's Day romantic storyline kind of worked for it especially releasing it on Valentine's yeah. Day um, whereas this one they were able to go a bit more insane and yeah everybody knew the character yeah. Deadpool now and they know he's fucking cracked so <laughs> they were just able to slide right into Deadpool straight that, away thinking about it now there was one other thing I was disappointed with uh, throughout the movie and it was he was a little less insane this time yes a lot not, less like, insane not talking to himself as much yeah like I was hoping that they were going to eventually lean into the whole schizophrenic thing. And, like, it'd be a great opportunity to hire other talent. Like, if you have the games, you could hire, like, Nolan North to do a voice in his head or something yeah. like that. Um, but they kind of leaned back on it. And, and I, I thought Vanessa dying was going to be him swapping like over the to the Like, the last bit of his humanity. Like, sanity. Mm. Gone. But, no, he seemed to handle that That was a well. little bit disappointing. But it, it, it wasn't yeah. present for a lot of it. It was just during parts. But a little bit more insane would have been good. A little bit sad that Domino didn't get that much. Yeah, I liked Domino. Yeah. People people, people complained and everything. And I can understand it from a certain perspective. People like their characters. They've been growing up reading these characters for a long time. And they want them depicted as they are in the comics. Yeah. But I mean, she was fine. I, yeah, I, I really enjoyed, enjoyed her character. She was like witty. Yeah. The actor playing her was yeah. fucking brilliant. And the, the, like, like the, 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 the jokes on the, her, her power and everything was good. Like Deadpool. Like, Jason, yeah. look, it's not a power. <laughs> That's funny. And that it doesn't look very cinematic and what he's saying is it's going through like the big slow-mo scene. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> what? The kid that played Flame Fist and Russell was... He was a really good actor as well. Yeah. I liked him. Was he, I wonder if he was a comic book character. I liked the little the little uh, storyline going on. That, like the, yeah. the main storyline of Deadpool trying to save him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. It was funny. I really want to see Terry Crews again. Yeah. I'd love to hit... Because he was, he was the only one... No, did he die or did he survive? 
He got he, he crashed. He, in. he crashed into the bus, but he went through the window. Oh yeah, he died. Everybody died. I had I had thought. Oh yeah, I forgot he said everybody died. I had thought that he might have survived because he didn't like there was no like <laughs> he didn't get ripped apart or anything like yeah. anybody else. But oh, that's disappointing. He did parachute into a moving bus. Him and Domino <laughs> then, yeah, yeah, Peter. Fuck, Peter. He went back and saved Peter. At the he end did. Of... He he did save Peter. With Peter in the sequel. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Peter was good. That whole X Force wind thing. That yeah. whole scene was just masterfully done. I was not expecting it just to turn to shit straight away. And there were foreshadowing that with like, are we doing this even with the wind warnings? Yeah. So. <laughs> that was good. TJ Miller is probably gone from the next one as well. Um, they said they didn't because they already had this one filmed. He was good. He was like he was never a big part. Yeah, he wasn't as impactful as he was in the first one. No, even in the first one, I I thought he was underused. Yeah. Um, compared to his character in the comics, anyway, Weasel, he was very much a, a partner to Deadpool and like helped him out and stuff. Whereas in this one, he was just kind of a info man, and yeah. setting up his assassinations and that, uh, which was fine. But I I understand them moving away from T.J. Miller as well with all the shit that's going on with yeah. him in his real life. Yeah. <laughs> he's not he's not doing too well at the moment in terms of like personal stuff <laughs> exactly. um, so yeah they're probably going to get rid of him next I wonder if they'll replace him with anyone Although they probably don't need to now with the ensemble cast yeah they, they have. have a decent crew together now the cable is set, apparently whether it's a joke or not I don't know but apparently Josh Brolin has signed on for like four more movies I don't now, know if it was a joke or not that doesn't necessarily but... have to mean Deadpool no no it'll probably That's be X-Men X-Men as well mm. like he has a lot to do with X-Men storylines as well so if they ever do reboot yeah, they have a pretty solid fucking cable with his origin and stuff already out of the way, and they can just throw him in to any sort like. <laughs> <laughs> what well, so so, the Disney acquisition goes through, right? Disney yeah. acquires all them back. What do they do if they keep Deadpool going? Because you have Josh Brolin playing two characters two in the same universe. Thanos will probably be gone by then anyway. Yeah, but you <laughs> you've still got the same voice on both. That'd be interesting. It'd be cool for a few jokes. Yeah. Um. I liked all the Mar- I liked there was a lot of Marvel jokes in this. There was a lot of other comic book things like I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite jokes in the whole movie. It was so good. Yeah. I just thought the jokes were just on point in the whole movie. There was a lot of DC references as well. Yeah, the Marta references. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And I like that they didn't. We knew this anyway because they had talked about it already loads of times. But I like that they didn't want to go bigger. Like yeah. most movies that the first one does good they get a bigger budget and just go balls to the walls insane and have like a big world apocalyptic thing yeah. going on but did this like they played it safe but with a good story yeah. and like they just knew that they just had to give the characters a story and just let them run with it yeah. and it worked out really well for a small contained story and like even even like it wasn't even big in scale in terms of like the story either, yeah. like, because like there wasn't even like a, a country at risk or anything or like it was just like, that orphanage. He was just his the dude, like, soul, basically. Yeah. And, like well, Cable's main, his family oh, yeah, yeah. in the future being killed by Russell. But that was it. Like, they were, they were yeah. the stakes of the movie, which I, I liked. I liked yeah, it was died. like, it wasn't like grand, big, saving the world kind of thing. It was just like a dude lost his family mm. and he was like, I don't want this to happen. Just like, just the normal dude grieving and just wanting to get revenge or prevent it from happening. Yeah, that was good. And we got no Deadpool black suit. They showed it in the trailer, him sitting up when oh. he was had to been blown up. But everyone was like, oh my God, it's the Deadpool black suit. But it was just covered in soot. <laughs> <laughs> the minute I saw that scene start, like we got to that certain part and in my head, yeah. I was like, where's the black suit? And then when I saw all the fire and everything, I was like, they're going to do it here. It's going to yeah. be soot and black stuff on the suit. We had kind of already talked about it already, but the, um, the end credits scene, going back and killing <laughs> Deadpool and all that was great. Yeah, it was. that was probably my favorite end credits. I want to know if they're going to carry over. It'd be a great opportunity. Like, if I was them and I was doing another movie to this, yeah. I would have it carry over, but have the carry over or the crossover from that be just the intro. Yeah. Just have the intro of them going back and fixing all the shit because Deadpool yeah. went back and fixed it originally. Yeah, that'd be good. So my theory. Now. It's not that much of a theory. I was just basically thinking it'd be really, really fun for like the next, for the sequel after this. Yeah. With what happened with Dopinder at the end, crashing into your man. Oh. What if he becomes the villain for the next one? Because yeah. he seems to like killing your man. He got out yes. and he's like, yeah, yeah. He, like, it could be like a whole thing with Cable and Russell. Like <laughs> once he got his first kill, he got a taste for it. Yeah. 
That was the first thing that popped into my head. Yeah. I was like, that'd be a great premise for the third one. He, uh, yeah, it would make <laughs> it a lot more personal for Deadpool yeah. as well. And then we keep it grounded then as well. Yeah, that's what I want. I want, I want Evil Dope in there. <laughs> Though Pinner was great as well. He was, he was, he was fantastic. Um, I, I enjoyed him a lot. I, like, I loved him in the first one as well, but yeah. I, he got a lot more screen time this time and they allowed him He's to actually play. like a Deadpool sidekick now, yeah. which is just he, perfect. Like, he's basically what Weasel should have been. Yeah. From from like, I haven't read a whole lot of Deadpool comics, I kind of bounced around. Um, but from what I've read, Deadpool or Weasel in the comics was more like what Though Pinder is now. Just yeah. kind of like that sidekick that brings him, helps him out and brings him places or whatever. Um, so he could just take over that role. If they were to get rid of although he kind of already did in the second one, so he wouldn't really need to take it over. Yeah. Yeah. Call back to the pounds, like several pounds of cocaine next to the cure of blindness. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the cure of blindness. That, that, was, that was good. <laughs> that was good. Blind now was good as well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was so... Oh, the legs. Oh. The little legs. And the little Baby thing. Deadpool legs. And uh, what was the... What was the name of the movie? Oh, basic cross, instinct crossing the legs basic instinct uh, it took me a second to realise it and I realised it like a second before they said <laughs> it and I was like oh my god look what they're doing <laughs> that was freaky that's the the only thing that like they, I, I understand they kept it small the budget small because they didn't want yeah. to go grand they could have done a little bit of a bump just to tidy up the CG a bit Yeah. but I mean I, I think it kind of works for and against it because like the four, it kind of works with it because it's a very self-referential and like it knows yeah. what it is. So it kind of works towards that kind of yeah. jokes that they do, keeping it low budget and all that and the, the bad CG. But for something like the legs and that, I thought that the CG could have been touched yeah. up. But it was still funny. Like it, it didn't lessen the jokes funny. at all. That, that <laughs> walking over. He's walking. <laughs> I don't know the hand. It's so good. Oh, Genuinely a fantastic film to watch. So, do you have anything else? No, just, it's a great film. I'm pretty much... I hope about. you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Let us know what you thought about it in the comments and stuff below. Uh, yeah, we both loved it. I would more than likely be seeing it again before it leaves the cinema. I saw the first one like four or five times in the <laughs> cinema. I just absolutely loved it. And I had different groups of friends going yeah. at the same time. So I was like, oh, I'll just I'll tag along and go watch it again. Um I definitely like I like the first one while it was very good it was very formulaic yeah. whereas this one with the way it was structured I feel like multiple viewings will actually benefit it a lot because yeah. there was so much going on especially like even just the X-Men scene I'd love to go back and just like try and see exactly who was there because yeah, knowing yeah. knowing it's coming up now you'll be able to pay attention more like there was a good room of people <laughs> and they'd exactly all be main X-Men characters <laughs> yeah so yeah um, we'll call it at that Thank you very much for watching. Uh, you can like, comment, and subscribe if you liked the video. Let us know what you thought about the episode in the comments below. We'll be back very soon with some more reactions and gaming videos. This is our first uh, movie discussion. We're planning on doing more uh, regularly. So this one is just like a tester. It's rough. We apologize. Let us know what you thought about it. Let us know how we did. If you have any suggestions or feedback, everything is welcome. We have some social media links and a website address down below in the description. You can check them out as well. And um, yeah. I think that's it then. We'll see you next time. Later. Pull me from the ashes so I could soothe your frightened mind and let our souls collide. Rising tide so we can ride away upon a tumbling wave.